Welcome to Electron Line. To illustrate again where you have to be very careful, we came up with this example here. Here we have the quantity x squared plus y squared raised to the third power divided by x times y. And it's very tempted to say, oh, we have x squared here, we have an x here, we can divide x into here, we can divide the y into there. It turns out you cannot do that. Even if it was written like this, if we had x squared plus y squared divided by x times y, this is not equal to x plus y. When you divide x into x squared, you get x, and y into y squared, you get y. That is not the case. However, if we had this instead, x squared times y squared divided by x times y, this would be equal to, since this is to the first power, x to the 2 minus 1 times y to the 2 minus 1, which would be simply to x times y. In this case, you can divide the x and the y, the denominator, into the numerator because this is multiplied. Here you cannot do it because it's x squared plus y squared. Because of that, when we look at this problem, we have no way of dividing the x and the y into the numerator. But in other words, you cannot simplify this any further. It has to be left like that. They say, well, wait a minute. What about the numerator? Why can't I take x squared plus y squared and raise it to the third power like this? Because the rule right here, can I not just multiply exponents? And the answer is no, this is not equal to x to the 2 times 3, which is 6 power, plus y to the 6 power. You cannot do that. Instead, what this looks like is as follows. This is x squared plus y squared to the third power. Oop, there is equal to the quantity x squared plus y squared times x squared plus y squared times x squared plus y squared. And then if you want to multiply this even further, it would become as follows. This would become x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth, plus this times this, which gives you x squared times y squared, plus this times this gives you x squared times y squared, plus this times this gives you y to the fourth power. And the whole thing multiplied times x squared plus y squared. And then you have to multiply all those again, and you can clearly see that this is in no way equal to this. You could simply not do that. And again, you can simply not do that. So be careful of this and this, because that is often done incorrectly. That's how we do it.